receiving, you know, because a lot of us do have other things that need to be taken care of just besides, you know, the little money that we're getting. Um, we can sit here and, you know, discuss this on and on, but if they even raised the money and gave us more money, th this would be a different panel next year and we'd be wanting more money. So it just, <laughs> it'll keep going on and on. Uh, and athletes do get greedy. They can get paid <laughs> um, m much as they, you know, uh, the coach is willing to give them, but they still gonna want a little more. It's never, uh, there's never a certain amount. <laughs> they always gonna want some extra. So we've got time for a couple more questions. This is more like a comment um, from what I'm hearing from the panel is that the students should be held responsible. But if you're in a position where you're recruited, you have the opportunity to gain a scholarship. Don't you think that it's part of your job to know at least um, some of those rules and to stick to them? Um, it's a, every citizen's job to stick to the laws of, of this uh, city, state, whatever. Shouldn't it be your job to stick to the laws of your sport? You're saying that you, you don't know anyone that wouldn't take that five thousand dollars, although they have a chance of being penalized, and although they have a, although they're breaking the, the rules. That's just like saying that um, it's okay for any inner city person to to sell drugs or something like that. I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it's still you're saying it's okay to break the rules even if. You know, you know they're there, and it's something to do it, but you shouldn't be telling somebody else should. So, are you saying, are you are you asking us that we should, re you know, respect the rules that are that we have for our teams, right? But once you're sitting there broken <laughs> and hungry, and somebody offers you five thousand dollars, you're going to accept. It. You're not going to think about that rule. If you have bills to be paid, you're not going to think about that rule. Because somebody offered me five thousand, I'll show enough be in the paper for uh, <laughs> for uh, uh, consumption of money or whatever. <laughs> That's just, <laughs> first of all. What's stopping them from selling drugs and other things in our What's stopping them from doing other things in our That's all. They, they trying to get ahead. Like I just said, they, you know, they want more money. I mean, that's, hey, I, that's not our problem if they want to sell drugs. That's their own prerogative. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first of all, uh, <laughs> I want to say that uh, the cheating we've been talking about is, is not the uh, what I would say rampant through, I, I wouldn't say, you know, you can't say that every team does it because I don't think they do. I think Iowa State is a very uh, good school. I think they've gone by the book all the way and everything they've done as far as me and my brother who's a freshman here. And uh, and I, I totally agree with Doug. I mean, you're an 18 year old kid coming out of high school and some adult wants to offer you more money than you've ever seen in your entire life. And, and you're trying to tell me that uh, he's going to say no to that? I mean, I know a scholarship's wonderful and all that, but you're an 18-year-old kid, and some guy's going to offer you money that you, you might need. And, and, you, and you tell me human need. nature for anybody, and they're going to automatically say no. I know it's, it's a breaking a rule, but it, it's not the, don't put it on the level of selling drugs or something like that. That's, that's not what it is, OK? Uh, there's a lot of people out there that need that type of money. Uh, you know, it's nothing that was ever offered to any of us, you know, but it's, uh, it's just uh, something that comes up and, and you think about it. I mean, it, it's more money than an 18-year-old kid or 17-year-old kid's ever seen in his life. And, and you're going to say that all the 17-year-olds in the world, how many do you think would actually say no to it? I mean, the scholarship's wonderful and we do earn our scholarships. And, uh, I, there's no denying that. We earn everything we put into it. And... Uh, but uh, it, it's a very difficult question, you know, and I don't think it's something that can be discussed in the next five minutes. But my, my personal opinion is if you throw any amount of money in some 18-year-old kid's face and you're an adult and say, I can get you this, I can get you that, I mean, hey, you're looking at the American dream there. I mean, uh, I, I personally feel a lot of 17-year-olds and 18-year-olds, uh, there's not too many that are going to say no to that. Maybe I should have asked this question at 10 after 12 instead of 10 to 1. Yeah, I think if we're going to follow the rules, then we have to have somebody to tell us the rules first.
like the class where I know that the majority of the nasty class know they don't. Do you think that there are a few that might take advantage of this? I feel that they do, some of them do, for the simple fact that um, the problem that they're hurting themselves, they go tell their friends or another teammate, you know. Uh, some teachers, you know, I'm not saying they favor certain athletes, but just because they give you a favor, that don't mean they're going to get everybody a favor, you know. That's where, they, that's where that problem comes in. So, so what we're saying is, um, if I can sort of put it on a picture here, being recruited, the, the university has what the recruit wants. Is that correct? And university should use certain guidelines on how they get that. Does that sound fair? And then once once the recruit becomes a part of that university, then it becomes a part of his or her's responsibility for her own actions. Okay. I agree with that. Another question. Yeah, I got a question. Pat, yeah. Okay, no, okay. Could we have the women on the panel to talk about particular uh, problems and good things about being on a women's team when you got these big guys who talk a lot down the tent. Do you like not having white pay attention? Is it easier? Is it harder? And uh, what do you feel about the future for women in the sport? Um, I think, I mean, I think this is a great place to be on a women's athletic team. I think we get enough support and I know that we don't have the pressure that like Doug and Jean have. I know that we're not in the public eye like that. But I, I still think that there's a lot of support from everyone on campus and from the other teams. I think, I think it depends on the sport, and I think it depends on the individual. Like, for instance, Tracy Graham, a well-known volleyball player, she has a lot of pressures on her that is almost not as comparable as to a Doug Collins or whoever. But she still faces those pressures, and so do I because of my name. And if you are a well-to-do athlete and a little bit more than just average, then you do face those pressures and you have to, and, and it does sometimes take its toll. Okay, we have a question from this side. When you say this side of the room, it's been quiet all afternoon. Okay, well, uh, I'm still kind of bothered by the comment about uh, I don't know who made it uh, in regards to uh, the money that someone would receive. Uh, I think he was, uh, saying that if someone receives $5,000, they're not going to consider what the alternatives are at that time, um, and they're just going to take the money. And the question is, uh, in relation to the young lady's uh, comment, um, are you telling me that if someone offered you $5,000 to, um, let's say, for example, sell illegal drugs, you would do it without questioning? Those are, uh, those, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but those are two different issues. No, no, no. They're, no, they're, no, in, no, two, no, they're no. in two different boats. No. You cannot say come, excuse me, you can, I don't mean to interrupt, but you cannot say come and sell drugs and put that in the same issue of taking money. No, why they're, not? They're, 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 why not? Yeah. Selling drugs, the reason why I say they're not, no. what separates it, the morality behind it. Selling drugs to kids, to young, children in the city, no, that's not. Me taking money is the action of on me, okay, and, me on, and me taking responsibility for that. Whereas drugs, you're affecting more than one person, and not just the person you gave drugs to, but that, that if you sold them drugs to a pregnant mother, you saw, you're affecting that child and her children that she may have at home, that she's using that money for those drugs. Okay. So, you're saying, you're saying that, so you're saying that uh, if someone offered uh, $5,000 that you knew was against the NCAA rules. Sometimes you don't always know, though. Well, like like Tracy Graham said earlier, we do know. the NCAA book let's, is, is let's, huge, let's, and I know let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, that most people know that, but I mean, there's little things, too, that can make you just as ineligible as somebody giving you $5,000. The NCAA well, book well, rules, there's little things, too, that can make you just as ineligible as somebody giving you is tremendous. Like Tracy said, she had to sit out of here for not taking her ACT on the right day. There, there's so many things that, well, that athletes coming out of high school are so well, uninformed, and parents don't know either. It's a new experience for them, too. So it, it's let's, just. Let's assume you do know because the way I'm getting the, the, uh, you know, the way the comments were coming out is that you said it didn't really matter uh, in terms of what the issues behind the money were. Uh, what mattered was that I had five thousand dollars staring at me in the face, and that it's, it's very unlikely that I would turn that down under any circumstances. And uh, I'm just trying to 
uh, ascertain whether or not that was what was behind the comment. Or you say, okay, in other words, is there, if you knew that there was a morality issue, and to me, uh, it is a morality issue if you're accepting money and you know that it's against the NCAA rules. And you're saying that, you're saying that even though you knew it was against the NCAA rules, that you would still take the money and and uh, if so, it's not a morality issue? Excuse me, sir. sir. We'll, 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 take, Wait, we'll take a couple. Tracy, you had a comment, and this will be the last comment. I'd just like to comment and say this man that, sure. that probably when that person offers you that $5,000, you're not going to just say, oh, here, I'm giving you this, and this is against the rules. They're going to say, oh, it's okay. You know, nobody's going to find out. I'll put it in a Swiss bank account. You know, you just get the numbers. No, you know, they're not going to. They're going to prance around the, the idea that it's even against the rules. They're going to present it in a way that it seems so legal. You know, they're not going to come right out and say, oh, this is, you know, wrong, you know, but do it anyway. Okay, well, I, I, I just want to come on like that. I mean, we're, we're, we're trying to keep this into college athletics and being recruited. And I do think that talking about selling drugs is a little bit well, all that you got. Yeah. But I'm going to have a question. It's 1 o'clock. We've got to get back to class. I'd like to thank everybody for attending. Tomorrow night, we on the morning. Bye, here we go, and have a good day. Thank you, Ashley.